tonight. Amen. The only way that you can receive a miracle, the only way you can receive from God, amen, is when you open up your hearts and you let Him enter in tonight. Amen. It is not just about lifting your hands because somebody says so. It is not just clapping your hands because somebody says so. Amen. Psalm of David said, He said, lift up your hallelujah glory to Jesus he said open ye everlasting gates and let the king of glory come in amen and the everlasting gates is your heart tonight you are that great great you are that entrance that God wants to enter tonight amen and you gotta understand how much you need God amen sometimes you wait upon a really bad scenario in life amen life and death situation before we can understand how much we need God amen but I want you to understand tonight, you need God more than yesterday. Amen. You need God more than last week. Amen. Whether you know it or not, whether you believe Him or not, that will never change. He's still God. Amen. I want you to put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. I want you to lift your own hands tonight. We want to sing one more worship chorus tonight. Lift up your hands as high as possible tonight. Lift up your hands tonight unto God, not unto me, not unto anybody else, no usher tonight. Lift up your hands if you need God tonight. Amen. I don't know what's your reason for serving God. Amen. Everybody got a reason. But I understand that He loved me before I could love Him. And it's because of his goodness I'm here tonight. Amen. Amen. I said amen, saints of God. Somebody shout amen. If you understand this thing, amen. The goodness of God is what actually led us to repent and change and to be in his presence tonight. So I want you to understand this thing and lift up your hands a little high tonight. Glory to Jesus. And I want you to sing this chorus with me tonight.
God tonight for your presence, for the life that flows inside of us, for the breath to God this day of life, my God this day, that is a constant reminder, Father, towards us, my God, how much you love us. We thank you for doing it, Lord. For every soul that is here tonight, Lord, let there be change, let there be conviction, let there be transformation, oh God, this day, Father, by the power of your spirit as you're about to move and use your apostle. You're about to move and use your prophet tonight, Father. Make the ministry in flames of fire. In no other name but the mighty name of Jesus. Church, somebody shout, let it be so tonight. In Jesus' name. But before we hand over the service to the men of God tonight, hallelujah. We have two birthdays, amen, that were celebrated this week. Amen. And we would like to acknowledge them from our caretakers group, amen. None other than our dear sister, sister Susan George, and our dear sister who comes out on a Tuesday, amen, with a second team, which is sister Judy Musami tonight. Please put your hands together for these awesome ladies tonight, amen, as we welcome them tonight to sing them and to wish them God's blessing, amen, on their birthdays, amen. Hallelujah. Praise Him. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. 